Alright, what's up everybody? So we've got exclusive pictures of the Tesla Cybertruck from Investor Day. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at these pictures, going over all the details. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Starting off with the exterior. So here you can see there are a couple of differences that you will notice. One is the side mirror. It now has this triangle shape rather than the rectangular shape it had previously. So this kind of follows the design theme a little bit more with the Cybertruck than the other mirrors. And even though the visibility is reduced with this mirror, you still have your side repeater cameras and you can enable those at any time. And then the next thing you will notice is that big windshield wiper. And I kind of see the need for this windshield wiper because the windshield is massive on the Cybertruck and you need a big windshield wiper to clean it out during the bad weather. And then looking at the lower part of the front bumper, you will notice that there is a camera over there. Not sure if this is because of Hardware 4 or because of this being a truck. They need extra cameras for better visibility. Let me know in the comments down below what your guess is. Next is the wheels. These are the same wheels Tesla has used on the prototype Cybertruck. Maybe these are wheel caps for aerodynamics. I really love the look of these tires, but I'm not that big of a fan of these caps. But let me know what your opinion is. And here is the best part there is the interior it is quite a lot different as you can see there's a totally different steering wheel over there it's not a yoke it's like this squared out steering wheel now i do really like the look of the inner part of the steering wheel and this steering wheel has a very interesting look not sure how i feel about the top part the one thing that i'm not a fan of is there is no instrument cluster in this vehicle now I'm not really sure if Tesla is going to go for an instrument cluster on this vehicle because there were many Cybertrucks spotted which had an instrument cluster or didn't have an instrument cluster and at this point it is unclear but hopefully if Tesla can add an instrument cluster and give us the option for a regular steering wheel or a yoke that would be great. Tesla did a really good job with the Model S and the X and I think if they could do the same for the Cybertruck that would be sweet. And I do really like that display. The display is very thick and you can see the edges are quite rounded. Now, maybe this display would look even better if it was integrated into the dashboard like the Model S and the X, but it still does not look bad. And it seems like Tesla is going for different interior colors because you can see there's cream leather on the dash and on the door panels, but interestingly not on the seats. One thing you will notice is there are only two seats in the front row. There aren't three seats like there were in the prototype. Now in the middle you have a regular center console like normal vehicles. And the amount of legroom you will have in this vehicle is crazy. There is so much legroom and as a solution for the wireless chargers, they put it into the center console now. So there is a little bit less space in the center console than there is in other Teslas. But still this is going to be a very big vehicle inside. This is a really luxurious interior. Tesla has really gotten better with their interiors now. And then going into the back seats, yes, Tesla has added a rear display to this vehicle. That is something I love. The rear display was a very welcoming addition to the Model S and the X. And this is, this is awesome that Tesla is adding it to the Cybertruck. And then there is the trunk space. This is massive inside. There is a ton of space in this vehicle. So for the trim, it seems like Tesla is going for a more plush material inside the trunk rather than the stainless steel that was there in the prototype. So that's pretty much it for this Cybertruck. Let me know in the comments down below what did you guys think of the Cybertruck. I personally really love this. If they could add that instrument cluster though and give us the option for a regular steering wheel or the yoke steering wheel like in the Model S and the X, that will make this vehicle perfect. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode.